ladies and gentlemen, stand back up, tighten those bootstraps, because everybody got hit in the market today as over $1 trillion gets swept off from the broader market in the matter of one single trading day, and the market has its worst day since 2022. Palantir falls right into this boat, down over 8% in the after hours, and there's a lot of uncertainty, volatility, and emotion that's flooding the market. And one of the big questions is, with the sell-off that we're seeing, is it too late for an interest rate cut to help prevent any type of recession? That's a big topic right now, as we're seeing a lot of stocks selling off. We're going to be getting into some critical detail regarding this volatility, what this could possibly mean for Palantir Technologies. We're seeing things like NVIDIA having a big sell-off, and what does the future hold? Now, of course, we don't know, but we can analyze what's happening right now, and we can react and try to make some predictions on things that could change. And remember, as more emotion floods into the market, it's all about perspective. So remember that before people get too upset about everything that's going on. If you are new or returning viewer, hit that like button, subscribe for daily videos. And of course, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm collecting all the data of the sell-off and dispatching it to you. Now pop it up here. Palantir Technologies closes at 26.60. Oof. Getting close to that $30 and you see this big correction right here. Not due to the pounds here individually. No, to the broader market that's affecting everything right now. What we see with pounds here is failing this $27 level of support. And you see once that was failed, you started to see the sell off that continues closing at 2660. Now at 2645 in the after hours, you can see this trend line that's just kind of being drawn up here. If this continues to fall, we don't have a ton of support here in the mid 20s. We do have a lot of support at the 20 though. That is hopefully a rock bottom point that we can rely upon if this does continue. It'll be interesting to see what happens in terms of the short term. Nonetheless, lots of things are selling off. This is what you're seeing with pounds here. But let's talk about what's happening in the market. Like I said, the worst day since 2022. The big, big leaders to this, I wanna say sell off, of course, is Tesla and Google having a large correction within their market capitalization. And we're seeing this trickle down and capitulate a domino effect across the tech stocks. Now we have the NASDAQ that came down 3.6%, S&P 500 down 2.3%, worst day that we've seen within 18 months, Tesla down 12.3%, and Google down more than 5%. Tesla had its worst day since 2020, Google had its worst day since January. Now, what happened to Tesla, why we saw the sell-off, number one, was that auto revenues fell 7% compared to the previous quarter, and Elon Musk had came out and said that the company's planned robo-taxi rollout is going to be delayed, pushed back even further. And what we have with the Google Alphabet reported earnings that were actually in line with the analyst expectation, we have the CEO here really signaling that the tech world's booming investments in artificial intelligence we're really not going to pay off in a short time frame. And this means all our investments that they're putting into AI that we're not going to see the results in terms of profitability for some time. And bringing reality to this is really kind of set this market sediment in terms of a pullback. And talking about here, these things take time. The market did not like that. And what we're seeing right now is nervous profit taking. I couldn't agree anymore of the stocks that have really been largely leveraged with AI on a lot of the investors' mind, looking for those consistent source of market gains. Sorry, this ad blocker popped up here. But talking about that, what we do see is Palantir that gets affected because they have a big bet and a lot of investors are leveraging the AI boom off of Palantir. We also have the sell-off that is correlated with the renewed expectations for an interest rate cut from the Federal Reserve. Now, this is in response when the Fed does issue an interest rate cut, it is most likely due to a slowing economy. Now, traders are predicting that the Fed's first cut of the post-pandemic period is virtually guaranteed by September after this. And what we're seeing here the strongly considering announcing a cut at its next meeting Wednesday. And it might be too late to fend off a recession by cutting rates now unnecessarily increasing the risk. 
by not matching what the economy is doing. We are seeing also, in addition, the market has not been doing hot. Other stocks such as Ford Mortar here tumble 11% after the company's second quarter earnings coming in much lower. And we have more large corporate earnings that will be coming tomorrow. In terms of that, we also are seeing the unemployment rate that is actually raising, and we are seeing other signs of the economy not doing the best. With all that, Palantir Technologies is still set to report their earnings. August 5th, of course, post-market. Eight cents for earnings per share. Now, we haven't seen a big changes in terms of earnings per share revisions, but one thing I wanna say now is that earnings is not on top of the list anymore. I think the whole focus on the broader market is the higher priority and how that's going to affect Palantir here in the short term is going to have a bigger impact than what earnings does. And if for some reason, I think earnings, if it is beats, I don't know if it's going to have a big impact on Palantir's price right now due to this big variable that just got chucked in out of nowhere. However, a Palantir does not impress investors and analysts with their earnings report. I think we could, could continue to see a little bit of a drop back. You guys had mentioned in the comments, hey, stop being bearish about Palantir in yesterday's video. I'm usually not bearish. Data Dispatch remains bullish on the actual fundamentals of Palantir Technologies. We talk about it all the time. We love Palantir. What we're talking about is some realistic expectations and where the market psychology is at right now and where the economy is at right now and big things are happening. We're going to have to wait for these things to cool off and really going to have to analyze what's going to be happening in actual time because we're seeing other stocks like NVIDIA that are continuing to fall, falling over 5.6% in the afternoon session. And we have Microsoft, Meta, Apple shedding some of their year-to-date gains and we're seeing a lot of focus moving into those small cap stocks. And we talked about this, the Russell 2000 index. The reason why these small cap stocks are starting to become more attractive among investors is because with those interest rate cuts, this will allow these small cap stocks to have access to cheaper loans. It'll be easier to borrow money, allowing them more of an opportunity to invest within their businesses and to grow and to improve revenue, profitability, efficiency, blah, 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 being better for small caps. And we're seeing the shift right here that is going into these small caps. Will this continue? We don't know. But talking about that, we see the stock market that is, I want to say, kind of overreacting right now in big price drops. They can really bring different opportunities. And this is why I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it is all about perspective. What is the intrinsic value that you believe for a stock, such as Palantir, for example? And that's what you could be using as your justification. And either dollar cost averaging, getting at a cheaper price, those are our opportunities if you still believe that these stocks are bullish in the future and that this is, could be an overreaction to the market. We'll see what happens tomorrow. I want to know, what do you guys think? Do you think we're going to continue to see the sell-off with the market, with Palantir? What do you think is going to be happening at the interest rate cuts? I'd love to hear what you guys are you know, ex you know, know, expecting, especially in this emotional and volatile time. Peace out, take care. And of course, we'll report tomorrow. We'll see what happens. I'll be keeping a close eye. <laughs> Peace out.